All right, I got a new trick for you that I'm going to perform it and then explain it. So I got a pack of cards. And uh, show you. Uh, make sure you're not colorblind. We got black. Right? There's that black, red, that red. Uh, we're not going to go through the whole deck, but uh, as you can see, you're not colorblind, right? That's a red card. That's a black card. What color is that? That's red. Okay, you're not colorblind. Now, now that I know that you're not colorblind, I can do the trick. So what I'd like you to do is uh, I'd like you to think of any card in the pack. Okay, it's in your mind. You've got it, right? So what I'll do is I'll do a little bit of magic here. And I'll uh, show you that uh, uh, you can change uh, the cards. Now, I change all the cards. See, because this is, uh, these are black cards. Okay? So, uh, I, I called up the deck support, you know, and I, I asked them, I said, uh, what's the problem here? I had a red deck, now I've got a, a black deck. And then I turn it over, and now I've got all these all back cards. Um, backs on both sides. See? So, I go through the deck, and I, I can see that I have no cards. So I call up deck support. I say, what are you supposed to do? And they say, oh, you're supposed to, on the back of the cards, you're supposed to uh, wind it up like that. And when you wind it up, you get the cards. Now, what was the card you were thinking of? You got it on your mind? Okay. Uh, what was the card you were thinking of? You got it? Um, Make your mind blank. See, the whole deck goes blank. See, if your mind is blank, the deck uh, follows suit and they all go blank. Now I have no cards. But, uh, you're still thinking of a card, right? What was your card? Now, whatever card you name, let's say you name the uh, Queen of Spades was the card you were thinking of, right? I'm just giving you an example. I snap, look, all the cards in the pack are one color. They're all black, except for one, which is red here. The card you were thinking of was which card? Uh, the Queen. Very good. The Queen of Spades. All right. Now take the Queen of Spades and I'll set it down like that. Now, um, I'll just show you in my pocket. I reach in my pocket and I pull out. There's the Queen of Spades. And what card were you thinking of? I'm thinking of a card. Oh, you didn't think of any card. Okay. That's because this card is blank. Okay. You didn't think of one. Now, for the people in the cheap seats, I'll do that again, even if nobody asks. Watch what I'm saying. X marks the spot, I take the green card, and I just uh, put it right there, and I just vanish it completely, it's gone, and I can start the magic. So now I'm going to show you how this works, this is, uh, it's a fun trick, and uh, it's a nice opener, I use it as an opener, and uh, what I do is uh, all you need is uh, one uh, red back blank card with your deck with a different uh, back design. You start off and you have this on top, then you're going to do... Um, you could do uh, the Paul Harris thing, which um, I can show. Uh, but uh, with this, what I do is I do something else. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll do the Paul Harris thing, I guess. If you don't know it, I mean, you should know it. But this is a different trick. But I'll start off and do the Paul Harris trick. I'll force the card out. Okay. Now, um, actually, we're not going to do that for this because we don't have it. So we start off and we show. Uh, we say, make sure you're not colorblind. We show black. We show red, right? You see the colors that that's red. Okay, that's black. You go through the deck, and this is to convince them that you have a red uh, deck. Really, you're doing a little joke, making sure you're not colorblind, right? You got to be careful with that because what if they really are colorblind? So you want to ignore it, all right? And you, you might start off and say you're not colorblind, are you? In the beginning, right? And you say okay, and uh, that's just to show the whole deck is red. So now what you do is you. Uh, you you can do a color change if you want. Uh, I'll do like this color change here, and I'll say, see that was just an illusion. So now we have all the cards. Now what I do at this point in time is I'll I'll cut this to the middle, and I'll hold a break on this because what you're going to do is you're going to uh, make a half pass with half the deck here, so you have this face up here. Okay. So what happens is uh, at this point in time because you just showed all the cards right through the whole deck. And now you have the point where you have the blank. So all you're going to do is, like I said, you're just going to do a half pass as you square these out. Because they should think everything's normal. But what you do is uh, you say, I, I called, I bought a deck of cards and it was uh, uh, the other day and I found out that it was uh, an effective card. Because look, all the decks, uh, they don't have faces, they have backs. And you're going to do the Hindu shuffle again a little bit. Each time you can peel off a couple cards here. 
you can show that you know this thing has got all facts on it. So it's a nice way to show that. And then what you do is you have this here. So what you do is you, um, you simply you spread over when you can see the blank because you can kind of peek at it. So what you do is you take these cards and you put them on top here. Now you should be back to your uh, almost half half position. And we have about a quarter of a cards. So what you do is as you riffle here, uh, you show that the back here, then when you come down, you're going to do a half pass, okay, as you square up. Then you're going to do a fan in the right hand, okay. What that will do is it give the appearance of all the cards are blank. As you say, make your mind blank, right? Make some jokes. Now you say, I call up deck support because, you know, there's no cards. Then you do a color change. You can do any kind of visual color change that you want to bring the cards back, okay. Then uh, whatever card they're thinking of, you say you're thinking of one card. And then when you put the cards towards yourself, you just pull this three back. And then you put that in the middle. And then whatever card they name, let's say they name the seven of diamonds. You just pull this blank, you reverse hops into it towards yourself, right back to uh, behind the seven as you set down the cards. Okay. And then you say, look, you name any card in the pack. So this is kind of like a Chicago opener type sequence. Then you show, that's the thought of card, and you do a double lift there, okay? Now, I do a double lift, I do the uh, Vernon split on it like that, so it looks like it's always out of it. Then I say, uh, then at this point, what I do is I, I make it uh, steel, and then I'll reach into my, my jacket, you know, if I have a jacket, and you reach in your pocket, and you pull out that card. Then in the middle, and you say, you're thinking of one card, what was your card? I you didn't pick a card, and you go, that's right, you do the suspend, and then uh, you use the pirouette flourish to vanish. Yes. And then from here, what you do is uh, you do any kind of vanish you want. I use uh, this one here. X marks a spot. Looks like I'm palming it. And then I just go in here. I vanish it. I'm going to show. That's uh, the beginning. Now, when I take out the jokers, okay, let's say I have the jokers in here too. I would have left the jokers in here. Uh, what I do is as I take the jokers out, um, that's how I would get rid of the stranger card. I would put the uh, jokers away. And I'm taking the stranger card with it, right? So you can show the jokers front and back. Uh, well, you got to be careful with the back. You show, you just show the jokers, and then that's how you get rid of your stranger card, right? So you take out the jokers and uh, you put those away. That's how you get rid of your stranger card. So then you can go into uh, your card routine. So that's a nice card opener. I hope you like that. If you do smash the like button. And uh, if you'd like to see even better magic, my best magic, my complete originals is on Master Magic University, so join today for only $10 a month.